Well, happening this weekend, uh, Crave the Coast returns to Garibaldi on Tillamook Bay. This event is a celebration of all those who have helped grow this part of the North Coast into a culinary destination. Cor Harlan is live this morning to tell us more about all of this. Cor? <laughs> Morning, Ken. Morning, Jenny. The second annual Crave the Coast here in Garibaldi tomorrow. We're expecting some pretty good weather and a real assortment of good North Coast food and drink and everything else. We are at uh, Garibaldi's uh, Portside Bistro this morning that has been recently renovated for the last 11 months. So if you've ever been down here and all the fish, I'm going to, and you know what? I want to introduce you to Amanda Cavett. And she is uh, what we call height challenged. <laughs> so I can actually sit in a chair here and I can look eye to eye to you and talk at you a little bit here. All right. How's it going? Good. How are, are you this I'm, morning? Well, I'm awake and I'm Good. up here. You looking forward to the festival this weekend? Yes, we are. It's the second annual uh, uh, Crave the Coast. And it's a culmination of a bunch of businesses on the Oregon coast from uh, Lincoln City, Tillamook, all the way to Knee Tarts. And it's local businesses that source a certain amount of their ingredients from our bounty and this is uh, so I'm told now 40 vendors are going to be here and they are going to offer everything that's good food wise about the North Coast that's fresh seafood oysters a lot of smoked uh, fish products and all the rest of that will be here as well right yes yes so we're going to be featuring our signature tuna salad at that. Crave the Coast you're going to bring a hamburger out here? Yeah, we got one. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt That's you here. Okay. This, uh, of course, uh, Portside Bistro is going to be one of the vendors out here. And are you going to be serving this up here, Dennis, this weekend? Or is that, that part of the fair? This is not something we're going to serve up. Yeah, um, we're going to be serving seafood up there seafood. and uh, the tuna melt. And uh, this is our signature blueberry goat cheese burger. It's one of our top sellers. I can see why. All right. Well, you can a, a small taste of that. I'm going to take actually uh, not a small taste of this, okay. probably a little larger taste of this as we get ready for Crave the Coast here in Garibaldi. It's from 11 to 4 on Saturday. And again, the weather's supposed to be really good here. And you get access to all 40 of these vendors. A ticket will cost you uh, $25 if you buy it online before 11 o'clock this morning. It's $30 at the door. Kids are in for free if they're under 12 years old. And you get access to some really good good fresh seafood, smoked seafood, as well as the rest of the bounty of the North Coast here at Crave the Coast in Garibaldi tomorrow. Jenny and Ken. Yeah. You know, that uh, burger is almost as big as your head, mm -hmm. Cor. Uh, I don't know <laughs> yeah, how you're going to, we're going to, yeah, we're going to find out in a few minutes. <laughs> okay. It's as big as my mouth. Okay. Well, yeah, save that for off camera. That'll be probably better. Yeah, very good. <laughs> it's right. too early. Yeah, a lot of French fry. Like huh? burger, it though. does. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I do always wonder, mm -hmm. though, when people order those huge things, like mm -hmm. how you stick all that, you know. You go for it. In there. Yes, and you then you put it. it down and grab a knife and fork. Is that <laughs> what it is? Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at our uh, traffic and weather right now. we got Carly looking at what's happening on the roads. But first... Kelly, we're talking about some snow, possibly. We are. This weekend, 